Hi, today we're going to give an overview of the Technomotor TizWeb. Technomotor TizWeb is an online workshop technical information system. It's based on the Haynes Pro information system but tailored to integrate with Technomotor's diagnostic tools like the Technomotor Socio X3, Socio 400, their PC based diagnostic tools and also works on the Socio X5 and X6. As X5 and X6 are handheld tools but they have um, they are Wi-Fi enabled and uh, you can access the internet directly from this handheld tool. So you can also access this technical information system from them. So this information system gives workshops the advantages of having diagnostic and technical information all in one application or one interface. And only having to select the vehicle details once in the diagnostic software and then link in from from the diagnostic software to the technical information system in one click. The TizWeb software can also be used standalone by going onto it directly on, on a PC that has internet access. So it can also be used as a technical information system for workshops that don't have Technomotor diagnostic tools. But the advantage of using with the Technomotor diagnostic tools is the integration and the link from diagnostics to technical information. The Technomotor TizWeb has a huge range of technical information for cars and light commercial vehicles sold in the European market or other markets that have a similar feed to Europe. We don't claim it will have all information as no such single system is available but has, has a huge range of information. We'll run through the different types of information that's available on this in, in a few moments. There is two different versions of the TizWeb depending on the workshop's needs or budgets. TizWeb Full or TizWeb Tech. TizWeb Full will have all these icons and information points active and is TizWeb Full is the complete package of all the information they have developed and TizWeb Tech is a cut down package of TizWeb Full and you can see here that some of these icons will be greyed out and won't be active. Um, but we'll we'll just run through what's what's available on each one. So on our on our website on this link, Ranzahamohov Technomotor Tizweb Full, you can see the types of information that's available on Tizweb Full. So we have all these maintenance schedules, service checklists, service indicator reset, so on. There's a huge list of stuff, and it'll depends on what the, the information they have developed for that vehicle and so on here as well you can see the differences in in the two <coughs> the two different versions so you see here TizWeb full will have all these different buttons active so I'll have spare parts times um, OE parts lookup codes and aftermarket part numbers lists is what a uh, part lookup by OE or aftermarket number Car check is a printable service checklist. Uh, list tires, tire list, check intervals, the maintenance schedules or the service schedules, technical drawings of, of many different mechanical components on the vehicle, and then lubricants and fluids gives you the recommended fluids and OE part numbers and the quantities. So TizWeb Full will have all of these and all of these electronics, code error, search manuals, and technical data. But the TizWeb Tech won't have these ones, spare times list, car check, tire list, check intervals, technical drawings, lubricants and fluids. TizWeb Tech will only have these, electronics, code error, search manuals and technical data. So we'll, um, we'll just go back to the information system then just to show, to, again to show the differences between the two, the two systems. So again we have, this is TizWeb Full. So on TizWeb Full, we'll have the spare, spare times. So for example, if you pick any component here, so if we go into service, it shows you all the service components, brake systems. So for example, here we just click on brake pads. Gives us the fitting time and a price and OE part numbers. So you can go through all the different uh, different component areas on the vehicle so I'll click on shock absorber again OE part number fitting time and a price the price will be based on the European price lists or it mightn't be a 
exactly applicable to your market but it, it gives you a, a rough idea so here yeah, we have all these different areas so we'll go belts and chains and so on and you can search here by description or search by part number or you can view the components by just in text with part numbers and a description here in some cases then you will also you'll have a picture of the components here if you hover over this button so that's that just go back to home so you have sp this tis web full you, you will have spare times tis web tech won't have that and lists this is um for looking up a part number looking up a uh, manufacturer's part numbers or aftermarket part numbers so for example if we put in So I just keyed in a known uh, brake pad part number here, uh, an aftermarket Mintex part number, <coughs> and it comes up with the Mintex number and a, and a price. And then you can add that to like a, a part sales list. And so here I'm just going to key in another popular part, part number that I know. Uh, it, So um, this is uh, see that part number, it's EGR valve, so we can click on the part number here and we can see all the different OE part numbers or if we click on applications, it will show us the list of vehicles that that, that part is, is fitted to. And click here, we can see an image of it. So that's about it on the parts. I like that. There's loads more stuff you can do in there, but we're just going to give a, a, a rough overview of it. So again, <coughs> this is in TizWeb full, like all the ones are active in TizWeb full, but you won't have that in TizWeb tech. See here, these are grayed out. Car check. Car check then gives you service intervals and extra information and procedures for the service like service re light reset, battery procedures, keys remotes and so on. So you have the different options here to, and again the way this is displayed will depend on the vehicle so I'll just pick one here. So it gives you the parts <coughs> that will be needed the quantity of oil, the price, it's not showing the price there for the oil and the, so it gives you the part list and then if you want to add any additional additional work that you want to do on the service and the times for it so if there was higher mileage on this we might add a place time and belt or a new fuel filter and it will add it, add it to the total list at the bottom so we can go a checklist here and then it gives us a checklist of the components or the items that we need to check on the vehicle. Uh, I picked the, the first service at 15,000 kilometers, so there's a very small amount of items that need to be checked here. We just go back and pick one with higher mileage on it. So again, there's additional work. Uh, you see now there's more more components here or you have to pick the type of oil you want to use so we go checklist and see we have a longer list here then so yeah similar to any any of the other technical information systems like so this area then is for your service intervals service checklists and parts and components that will be needed and you can use it as the, an estimating system also so again, this is available on TizWeb Full, but not on TizWeb Tech. Lists of tires, then give you this, the different sizes that can be fitted to that vehicle, with front and rear. So we'll pick, say for example, that size on the front, and that size on the rear, 
and go tire list and then it'll give you details of, of tires available different brands models codes the sizes the other all other tire specifications and again pr the prices but depending on your market that price mightn't be applicable so the next item then is check intervals in that's in his web full but not in his web tech these are like uh, service intervals time and belt intervals and so on we'll just go into it here now and show you so it gives you <coughs> service intervals time and belt intervals or any any other other serviceable components or when when the time or the sorry the date or the mileage that it's due so again that's not on his web tech so basically you can take it everything from here over is not on his web tech so all these icons here are not on his web tech so then we just move on to the next one um, and here then we'll have electronics uh, what vehicle have we selected here uh, RDA4 just change the vehicle yeah, we'll just go into a uh, BMW 5 Series 2012 and then the other good thing is it gives you the image of the vehicle so if you're not familiar with for example your BMW model series is like F series or E series so on you, it'll, it'll help you distinguish it with the picture so we're going to a 520 diesel we went to this one gives you the engine code and, uh, and so on so now we're selecting this car we're just going to electronics here so in electronics then you'll have different options here your fuse and relays and sorry this option this is in his web this is on his web full and his web tech you can see we have this in his web tech so here then you have you, you select the, the fuse compartment whether it's in the luggage compartment or the engine bay or so on so for example we pick the one the luggage compartment and then you have the the drawing of the fuse box hover over the fuse so fuse 6 here is for the battery sensor fuse 1 is for the junction box 250 amp fan control relays fuse 9 and so on so we can go back here then and, and pick pick the other ones so for example we can go into fuse box and passenger compartment so it's transmission control you can see as we hover over here it it, it moves on on the image here that's our fuses then we have a thing here called comfort electronics so this basically are wire wiring diagrams for for example body electronics um, transmission all all other wiring diagrams excluding engine and ABS they'll be done in a different part of it so like here we have automatic transmission start and charging manual transmission starting and charging so we pick on manual starting and charging here we have our diagram here and if you scroll to the bottom then you have your component codes you have your wire colors connector numbers and so on uh, just go into the wiper washers so yeah in in this part you'll have all like uh, body wiring diagrams um, things like instrument cluster lighting um, central lock and electric windows airbags and so on again depending on on what they have developed for it so that's our comfort electronics or wiring diagrams then they have a thing here called visa systems have to enable uh, Enable the flash player for this.
So in here then we have things like engine management, ABS, again depending on the vehicle, uh, electronic park and brake, power steering. So we're just going to engine management, pick that one, EDC 17, apply. Now we have a breakdown of all the components. Everything on this side is sensors, everything on this side is actuators. So for example, just pick a EGR valve exhaust gas recirculation position sensor so then it comes up with a wiring diagram for that particular component so it won't show complete diagrams it'll show the diagrams for each component you'll have your pin numbers the color the pin numbers on these are component the pin number on dcu and the wire color then here then you have like a, a of a simplified checking procedure and show you about checking the supply voltages the grounds the signal wires and so on uh, we'd recommend just to use these this as a reference for knowing which ones to check they'll be telling you to check it with a multimeter and and doing continuity tests and they won't always be loading the circuit correctly so we'll use our own initiative when using this test plan but it's very useful for us to know what voltage is at which pin and and so on but we'll use our own testing methods but the idea of this is it's like a checking procedure so you go yes this is completed successfully check the solenoid operation disconnect the EGR solenoid with position sensor connect pin one briefly around. so you go yes or no connect and then it'll bring you on to a different check but again we always recommend with any checking procedure whether it's manufacturers or aftermarket to use them with a to use them as a guide not as as a full checking procedure because sometimes they're checking power supplies to components when the circuit is not loaded and so on here then we can click on the likes of pictures just a generic picture showing you what an EGR valve or EGR position sensor will look like if we click down here it'll bring up uh, DCU pinouts in this case they don't have a pin layout picture for this ECU but to show us what every pin is for the color of the wire the component disconnected to and the pin on the component if you want to check the likes of power supplies to the control units we click in here and then we can check supply voltage check the grounds and so on in a picture generic picture and location this is after bringing this out and into the locations the component locations page sorry just go back again visa system visa system even Um, so we just go into ABS there as well. I'm just untick this one. We'll apply. Again, we have all our components here. Wheel speed sensor, diagram, wire colors, pin numbers on the ECU, and the uh, the checks. Also in here, then you have fault. You can um, search by go here for components search by file codes or file code lookup so in the file code lookup then we can key in key in a file code gives you a description of the code click it show diagnostics and then it brings it in brings us in here to check the following components position sensor the solenoid mass airflow meter so for example we just go here and it brings us back in to the visa checking procedure again also then we have the visa locations so go apply so this is fuse and relays like we were looking at earlier uh, obd connector connector control units grounding points shows us all the grounding points on the vehicle O 
OBD connector again it's a generic picture but it does give us the general area and it, this is shown for a left hand drive engine management engine management components zoom in on the picture so that's that's about here on that part of it like we said again this is in the tisweb full and tisweb tech here then also we have code search error it's similar to what we were looking at in here in electronics when we keyed in p0400 won't go into that it's just going to bring us back into the same area and next part then we have here is technical drawings the technical sorry yeah the code error search is on the tisweb tech the technical drawings is not on the tisweb tech it's only on the tisweb full so technical drawings you'll have uh, drawings and torques of different components so say engine gearbox mounts you click in on the picture it gives you the the torques for the engine mounts and gearbox mounts uh, drawing shown shown the shown the way it's assembled uh, so just pick something else there uh, shock absorber again drawn with the torques and showing the way everything is positioned or assembled onto the onto the shock absorber so yeah there's loads of different ones there we won't won't go into all of them so again that's that's on his web full not his web tech see here it's not on it the next thing then is manuals they call it manuals in manuals you have loads of different things here like service reset battery disconnection reconnection keys and remotes time and chain time of belt removal insulation instructions tire pressure monitoring systems then you have some general information in some cases you have manual transmission and removal and installation instructions automatic transmission fuel fluid level drain and check loads of loads of different information here example we're just going to keys and remotes here it tells you the procedure if you lose a key so in BMW's case you have to order it from the dealer and it comes kind of pre-programmed um, shows you about replacing the battery or sorry removing the key blade uh, or sorry to replace the battery the procedure to, to dismantle the key uh, service reset with iDrive this is if you can do it manually depending on the vehicle some cases it can some cases it can't so it gives you step by step instructions uh, going to time and chain here also so step by step instructions pictures the OE part number the part numbers of the tools needed you can zoom in on the pictures so yeah, that's about it in manuals and in the manuals you'll ha you will have this in Tisweb Tech as as well as Tisweb Full. So next one then is lubric lubricants and fluids. Lubricants and fluids is not on Tisweb Tech, it's only on the full. Lubricants and fluids will give you information like grades, uh, manufacturer part numbers and so on. So this it's mainly the grades and the part numbers, part numbers and types of oil to use. Technical data then, sorry, yeah, lubricants and fluids will only be on Tisweb Full, not on Tisweb Tech. Technical data will be on Tisweb Tech as well as Full. So we're going to technical data here. So like all all your technical information, the engine code, CC, so on specifications common compression pressure oil pressure drive belt layout so if you click here if it has any any cases where it has the picture of the camera beside it you'll have an image for the belt the belt routing guide 
missions data electrical alternator type battery types battery location brakes uh, wheel alignment data air conditioning pollen filter location that's nice it's a real showing a real picture of, of the vehicle wheels and tires tire sizes rim rim sizes capacities in the other section we had with lubricants and fluids it was lubricants and fluid part numbers and types but in here it's the capacities the amount of liters it'll hold torque settings and then you have your image here for the procedure to correct torque tightening sequence so on loads loads of information here and again this is on the t on the tis web tech and full so basically just remember tis web full is all the information that they have available tis web tech you don't have these the ones that are grayed out so all this that we were shown was just going in on a, a pc with internet access to show it to show it operating um you can only be if you buy a license you can only be logged in once you can look it up on any computer or on the through the technomotor diagnostics but you can only be logged in once once at a time with one license so that's that's the interface if you're going directly into it we'll just show you the the way it displays then if you're going in via the diagnostic tool so this is um sorry i need to update my software on this this is going in via the diagnostic tool the x6 uh, the x6 is a handheld tool but you can also use it through the pc with a with a, via bluetooth so this is our diagnostic tool display whether it's the handheld or pc based it'll look similar so in here we can pick our vehicles to do diagnostics on we can go directly into tis web but say for example we're going to connect to a vehicle to, to do diagnostics so we'll pick the car that we were using earlier in the tis web so we we'll bmw 2012 i think 5 series f10 520 diesel so now we're going in as if we're going to do diagnostics so you can be going in here to, to scan the engine ecu but when you're here then i just close the close out tis web here when you're in here then you can go straight to tis web or even we're not connected to the vehicle now but if we were connected and scanning the car looking at fall codes data stream so on we decide we need to look up a bit of technical information we can just click across here to tis web it's opening the same information system as we were in earlier but the the layout the layout here on the screen is slightly different it's the same the same amount of information but just laid out slightly different yeah so when we're here then we can go into any of these directly from the diagnostic so for example we can go into electronics look up the the, the visa system the checking procedures technical data so the same sort of information as we're looking at earlier but this is your view through the diagnostic tool So it's all integrated and we don't have to pick the make model and engine type and everything again so just here to go back and when we're here then we can switch back to diagnostics tis web whenever we want but remember for diagnostics you don't have to have internet access you only need internet access when up updating the diagnostic software but if you want to use tis web you have to have internet access so that's that's about it um if you want more information on technomotor diagnostic tools or technomotor tis web uh, have a look at her website um if you just go onto her website and go to technical information technical information technomotor tis web 
and <clears throat> then you can look up the details on on the two different versions so it's it's a year's subscription so when you purchase this you get a year's access to it it's online so you have to have a inter internet access to look it up whether you, you can look it up on your pc or through the diagnostic tool um when you purchase a subscription you have access for one year at the end of the year then it stops working and you have to renew your subscription if you want to continue with it if you purchase his web tech in the beginning it's difficult to upgrade to his web full but like you can after the first year then go to his web full or if you're on his web full and you realize that you're not using some of these after the first year you can switch back to his web tech um so that's that's about it uh want any more information uh, just contact us thank you